Ten, ten times for the one time. That, <laughs> that would be my preference. I hope we get to see that from Kyler, a long time Bovar player. This classic setup. You know he's been playing this character for so long. Uh, I, yeah, like you said about the Azoth pick with the signatures coming out, I'm thinking we're, we could see some stinky Azoth coming out. What it's just signature, signature, signature. We can't keep letting him get away with this. I know that's right. Jesse Pinkman, he can't keep getting away with this. Here we go. Cheese face jumping around trying to get something started with this bow. I don't know how I feel about him going bow into into lance like that but now there's only one lance present on the screen and there is the spear in hand from hypka hypka trying to chase in the skies against cheese face not really able to get anything going and now weaponless versus an axe and a hammer hammer sayer coming out from kyler one more i'm loving the way this game's starting off for the blue team it was interesting that Kyler didn't try and confirm the edge guard on Hypka, just immediately turned and started putting out some pressure onto Vey. So really maintaining that stage control, splitting up the red team means you can go for the 2v1 situation. Despite, I mean, thinking Kyler Allison, she's, oh, Hypka is going to drop the D-Light. Sayer didn't get the jump there. Nice ground pound. That's going to be a one-for-one -one trade. I would have thought going into this one, even though Vey and Hypka have made it this far in the tournament, like it's it's Kyler Allison, Cheese Face. Let's be real. The pedigree that Kyler Allison, Cheese Face have way higher. They're going to end up going up, getting both kills on their knockouts on the red team. Kyler, the only one surviving on this first stock. Kyler doing a good job, too. He's, he's hurt, but he, he's got to get hit by some real stuff, especially with the two weapons that are on board. Maybe a Sayre from the... Okay, we'll cut what I'm talking about. The recovery from the spear is going to go ahead and take that stock out. Nice job. Haven't eaten too much damage. Very, very even game. Red team has control, really, right now. We have Kyler weaponless. Oh, uh, look at that Sig for the punish on the neutral light. He didn't chase dodge, right? He wanted to control his side of the stage. He hit his teammate, he hit the other player, but boom, that was so clean to come through with that, uh, that side sig and get the punish. And if you're thinking about like one single move, Signature's not bad. It's going to give you a good amount of force on it against an orange opponent. Not going to lead to immediately the KO, but going to split up that blue team so they're far apart, can't follow up off one another. It's going to do a decent amount of damage. It was a grounded opponent. If you're going for that D-Light into the side air for more damage, you're not going to hit it because it's a grounded opponent there. So definitely a good choice there for that single just one move punish. Get that nice dump of force and damage immediately without risking too much. The only reason Kyler is going to live through this is because of that reduced force when your teammate ends up hitting you. Reduced force, gonna have a little bit less damage as well on that. So that's really the only reason that Kyler survived there. He even turned it into a KO as well before he fell. Exactly, and that was a very, very good pickup, right? I, I feel like it wasn't worth chasing him if you if you paid more attention to how, how many resources he used when he went out and especially getting hit by his teammate after using, I think he used two of his jumps and he got his recovery stolen, right? So all he had was a dodge and the uh, the extra jump you get from being hit to get back on stage. He wasn't gonna make it. And uh, they jumped down there trying to get the get the extra KO and got the turnaround on him. Bow, talk about a turnaround. Kyler's turned this into a 1v1. Ooh, tried to make a read on the dodge. Hypeco was not able to get it. I am worried for Kyler right now. Nice pickup. Hypeco with the weapon toss. Nice. Ground pound. Oh, uh, what, what do you think is smart? I'm scared for him. Recovery almost KOing off the top. If he did that from the main stage, just maybe one jump height up, that might have been the KO. Hypeco playing this really well against Kyler, maintaining this solid lead, doing their best to get weapon control. That, like, point blank D-Sig is going to be the KO option. Knew that Kyler was right on top. What are, you, what are going to be your really other defensive options there? It's like a Lance D-Light. What are you going to do with that? You're, you're going to be doing a little bit of damage, but you don't need damage at this point. Your you opponent's don't. already red. What a great option coming out from Hypka. 664 damage, picking up three KOs along the way. Fantastic work. Highest damaging player on the board for the first game of this top four. That was really, really good. 664 in a tournament setting is very, very, very good damage. We have 564 coming out from Kyler Alice with a teammate doing 417. So something's telling me that some stocks were getting lost a little early on the side of the blue team. But uh, We also saw an accident come out. Yeah, there it was. Yeah, the KO of your teammate. That's what it was. That's what it was. But you know what? Yeah, let's look at these replays. I want to see the step back 2017 James Harden. Bow! Got him. That was beautiful right there. You know what I mean? You can call to travel if you want to, but he still got the bucket. Now, one thing that does worry me a little bit is in that 2v1 situation, we didn't see a lot of power coming mm -hmm. out from the red team. We didn't see a lot of confidence. It didn't seem like they were really in control of that situation. The control really happened 
once Vey got knocked out, and it was in that 1v1 situation. That worries me because the best 2v2 teams, they know how to play individually if they're split up. They know how to play together when it's an even two versus two situation, but also the best 2v2 teams in the game know how to play that 2v1. They know how to do that power play when they have that main advantage. That's an important ingredient that you need for the best 2v2 teams out there. You're right. We didn't see too many big time team plays. We didn't see a lot of uh, team hustle for defense or anything like that. Honestly, whenever we did try to see the pickups, one of them was the Kyler turnaround KO. Uh, so it, some of the some of them trying to help out is really putting them in, in a situation where they could have lost that game. Whereas their singular one v one play is giving them the chance to win. Now that was good team play on the side. Kyler's gone with another ground pal coming out from Bay, and on the other side, Hypka with a was that a side sig or was that a sig? That was a side sig. Okay. Huge work coming out. Major work on the right side edge as well. They had like complete control of that, of course, using that spear ground pound, that like downward helicopter with huge hitboxes on it can cover so much of that area up against the wall, even out it. We'll talk Woo! about the team follow up. Yes, sir. They were in a 2v2 situation and they just turned it into a 2v1 just like that. I talked about that maybe being a weak point after last game. I was wrong. That. Okay, so I'm hype about what you're hype about because that got me juiced. But I'm watching, and I saw Hypka just use the uh, gravity cancel in Sig for for Orion to touch the wall, and that move covers. Right, like they went to try to touch him, he was they were gonna get yoked down and get slammed. That was gonna be over with. That's clean. I, me personally, I have not seen anybody do that. That is a very very good tool to use your dodge to touch the side of the stage. But let's talk about these stock numbers. Pow. These are the first two stocks coming off of Bay and Hypka. But look at the damage on Chief's face is second. And we already have Kyler House on the final stock almost out of there. This is a tough, tough comeback for the blue team. And the red team is showing us they have the teamwork. We don't need to question. We see Vey in the edge guard situation. Kyler makes it through. I don't know how much longer he's going to be able to survive in this one. He is extremely damaged. We see him again sent off to the right side. No weapon toss came out. Maybe a little bit of a slip up here. He just barely gets back, but there's the down air. Vey takes that one. Four stocks to cheese faces one. We've seen incredible 2v2 team play here from Vey and Hypka. It seems like they needed that first game. For a little bit of a warm-up and i don't even want to call that a warm-up game because like they also they also won like, exactly. if, if you win your warm-up game that's like that's impressive what are you going to do to take out this team that is now warm here we see the combo coming slight drop but we did see them hit that earlier we did see them so hit they have that like early. a 50 50 on that which isn't the worst thing in the world are they going to be able to clean this one up here? I expect that they are. A little bit of swag coming out from Hypka. Wasn't able to actually make the hit on the move. Still not taken out, though. Finally, so much damage on the board that unarmed Sayer takes out the stock. 634 coming out for Hypka and 524 coming out for Vey. Vey with five KOs, and we saw the accident was there at the end of the game, right? Doesn't really matter. They already had it sold, and they were just messing around. Look at that combo. So that thing was clean. It only didn't work at the end there when they tried it because they didn't have enough damage on to let the uh, gravity cancel side sig land. That's the only reason it didn't work. They executed it perfectly. Uh, other than that, that was a that was a very good game. They they showed us. They did exactly what almost everybody I ever cast does in any game. They said, "Shut up, Zip." Anytime I say that, <laughs> you're not showing me something. I need you to. I really need to see you do this. They always do it. And I don't know if I'm. If, is that a reverse curse? Is that what I'm doing? It's a blessing. The blessing of Zip. Yeah. Hashtag Zip blessings. Yeah. Get that, get that going out there. You might see it pop up on the screen. Make sure to also hashtag BH Esports, and you might see it pop up on the stream. But one thing I really want to look at is we talked about it during the game, and I love that the numbers also support it after the game. Is this major step up? Because the first game, it was Hypka doing like 664 damage, picking up three of the technically five KOs that mm -hmm. came out for the red team. So he's doing more damage, picking up more KOs as well. But then you have this next game, and Vey doing good damage numbers. Not necessarily the most, but 524. That's a good damage number. Yes. Also picking up, like you mentioned, five KOs. Mm -hmm. So this isn't just the hype carry session where Vey hops in the backpack. It's both members of the team sharing their own responsibilities, and those responsibilities can also change. That is correct. Vey is definitely not in the Jansport. Vey is playing the game. Vey is out here to hold it down for squad. 
Red Team is here to do what they need to do. And I'm loving it. They're showing us that they're here for a reason. And we said that before everything got kicked off. We talked about teams getting to this point of the tournament. You are not here by some fluke. You're here because you came here cohesively as a unit and you showed every team along the way that they deserve to be in the lower side. We're seeing Vay and Hype could do this at a really critical moment. I mean, we're essentially halfway through the competitive season and we're all of a sudden seeing kind of a rise of this brand new team and they're putting in work against Kyler Alice yeah. and Cheeseface, which aren't necessarily always the top dogs in this region, but still, Everybody knows these names. Everybody knows the work that they've done in this region as representatives for their region. So Van Heidke doing this about halfway through the season means, I mean, sky's the limit for what they're going to do, even if they don't catch the victory here, even if they go down into the loser side of the bracket and fall there. They're going to keep this momentum going. They really did come up with a lot of momentum going into this one. They're forcing the character change from Kyler Alice as well. He wants that heavy hitting Taros. Oh my gosh, you know I love these Taros. You know, I'm gonna go ahead and say it, Taros isn't broke anymore. You know, I I'm not gonna let people keep slandering my boy. I don't think that he's broken anymore when his two weapons just keep getting, the, the axe is still amazing, hammer's still really good, but they've been getting taken down some notches since back in the day when people wanted to cry about this guy. We definitely don't see as much Taros anymore. You saw that neutral signature coming out from Vey, ended up hitting Hypeka got the accident there, which isn't necessarily a good thing, but they turned it into a KO, and then that was Cheese Face's second stock. So it's now five stocks to four. That was a fantastic trade in favor of the red team. Hypeka and Vey are doing incredible work here for this region. Beautiful down stick, gonna split up some of those players, maybe make it a little bit less chaotic in the middle, but Cheese Face is taking so much damage. Kyler open to rotate in, relieve some of that pressure, doing a pretty good job, picks up two hits. Kyler was being a being a great bodyguard right there, trying to keep Cheeseface safe. But nah, they get a, get a Kyler out of there, and now what is gonna happen to Cheeseface while he's gone? A nice little combo quickly into the down sig, so you don't have to deal with Kyler. Tried to get a pickup. Now I like it. So Kyler's doing a great job. He's trying his best, and he's succeeding at keeping Cheeseface alive. He's going to need him to make this win possible. And we have Hypeka down to the last stock. Vey is almost on the last stock. If you keep Kyler on two, even a 2v1 situation is possible. Hypeka does have to be careful. Can't take too much damage. Cheese face going down low. You saw the sweat beads coming out, bouncing off the wall. That's going to take away some of the momentum. Keep Cheese face alive just a little bit longer. Vey over on the edge. Cheese face still in this game. Not anymore. Taken out there. Kyler in the 1v2 situation. Three stocks for the red team, two stocks for Kyler Alice, but he's a hard hitting Taros. He has two stocks left on the board. Hypeka's in orange, so if Kyler grabs an early KO onto Hypeka or even gets it onto Vey and then gets the 1v1 in just a moment, he has the 1v1 situation here. Could take another stock. Hypeka completely backing up. Defensive game wants to let Vey come in for that power play. Kyler is playing so clean right now. He has been a menace on the stage for the past two to three minutes. They cannot do anything with this man. Clark Kent has taken off his glasses, ripped off the button up, and you see the S on the chest. Can he get the double with a kryptonite come through? Sidelight side air, not gonna be that kryptonite because it is not a true combo. There's the recovery taken off the top. Kyler is going to come back into this game. Brand new crisp white tee on him right now. Well, uh, technically now he's gotten hit, so it's not quite as crisp anymore. Got a little bit of dust on those white air forces. <laughs> uh, I mean, he only needs two per, and I think he might be able to get this. Oh my gosh, Hypeka with a nice catch. Vey falling off a little too low. It's gonna give Kyler the chance to get a weapon. He has the hammer in hand. All right. Getting back on stage, they have been doing a great job of making him suffer. Not allowed to play, really. Nice stomps there. No, the bait was Ooh. so good from Hypeka. Let him do the dodge. Walked backwards a little bit. Said, come here, come here, come here. A little bit closer. Caught him with the, with the down light and completed the combo with his teammate. That's the team play we were talking about. Hypeka and Vey are looking great. That is, that's it? Yeah. They're moving forward. That's the 3-0. Kyler Alice with 725 damage. I really <laughs> yeah. thought he was going to do it. It, it. Look, if if you see, we're probably going to get to see the end of the game. Pay attention to the top right of your screen to see how much damage the red team had on the